What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. That's Mike. What's up? And as you can see, we have Kanan herself, yes. the lovely, beautiful Eugenia Yuan, with us tonight. But wait, there's more. What? What? Who? We also yeah. have. Who's that making all? It's Nathaniel Monk. Sherman Augustus is back. He's yes. back with us. Surprise! Uh, surprise! I don't know who that is. <laughs> she doesn't know who exactly. he is. Exactly. Exactly, uh, exactly. Eugenia and Sherman, thank you so much for being here. Uh, we're, we're so excited to have you here, especially after last night's episode. Yes. Depending on when you're watching this, it was episode uh, 14, 14. Of, 14. Of, the, of the show. So uh, the way it's, it, it's okay, that's crazy. Well, yes. look, uh, Eugenia was so gracious enough to, to uh, uh, agree to come and answer your questions, community questions. Guys, you know how this goes. It's a community Q&A. Um, the Badlands cast and crew are the best out there, and they love giving back to us, the fans. So off the top, again, thank you so much, guys. It's so oh, thank fantastic you. that you're thank here. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Honestly. Um, so okay. we are going to be asking Eugenia some questions. Sherman, we talked to Sherman I'm just, so I'm much. I'm here for support. He's there I'm here for, support, for support. But we are going to get some questions, guys, because we need to know some things. Um, I but, know yeah. nothing. <laughs> um, so here we go. We're just going to jump into it. So uh, first off, um, Eugenia, yes. you're on into the Badlands. You're a martial artist. You've been in all this stuff. You've done this stuff before. But Badlands is different, right? It, it's it's a, it's 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 such an interesting and, and a different show. And Daniel yes. Wu told us that you were the only person that you know he wanted to play Kanan. He mm. said you were the first choice. He's known that you for a so while. Nice. And and you know so what we want to know is how did that go down? How did how did you get involved with Into the Badlands? Um, well, once once the show had started or when I heard about it, I always wanted to be a part of it. And mm -hmm. I just didn't really know how I would ever get to be a part of it. And then I actually didn't know that there was a sister role coming along. And okay. it was all, it all kind of just happened. And then it all, I was in Ireland suddenly. Yeah. And it just felt like it was really fast. But yeah, they do that. They yeah. do that. That's what happens, yeah. right? But because... I think because Dan and I are friends and we've been friends for so long and um, and like brother sister that it it just felt very generic and easy, like just really easy and yeah. Um, yeah. not generic. It comes um, across that <laughs> Yes. Like, yeah, very easy um, for us to... Genial. That was it. Maybe genial. Right? That's like is, a yeah. brother sister thing, right? Something like that, right? Yeah. I think I know what you're getting at. Yeah. That's, there's a word yeah. in English. <clears throat> <laughs> Yeah, so that, 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 I mean, that kind of leads to, to what I was going to ask. So so you were a fan of the show before you obviously became Kanan. Um, I mean, I was so proud of Dan for creating this show and being a part of the creation of it and um, and how diverse the yeah. cast is and how yeah. it's different from anything else you see on TV. And, you know, what what an awesome... I didn't even know how awesome it was until I got there. Right. Just the people that I worked with. I, you know, you work on so many different shows or movies or sets, and it's very rare that you become a family, like for real family. Yeah. Day one, yeah. day one. Well, we, yeah. we, we're seeing it right now, just just yeah. you two together, and that's yeah. yeah. This, this you know. weird day how one, because I think don't get along in the show. No, from from day one. I mean, when when they were shooting the the scene with the, with the kids. Mm -hmm. uh, they were mm -hmm. sparring, and uh, I think that was your first. That was our first day meeting. Right. And was was it your first day meeting, um, Lewis that day also? And Babu. And Babu, yes. because we were hanging out. The three of us were hanging out they that day. Yeah. And uh, we showed up, and immediately we just because we had been hearing stories about her anyway, and, and, yeah. and oh. everybody was just saying how great she was. And Thank so, goodness I didn't know the pressure I was coming into. Like yeah. that would have been yeah. too much. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> exactly. And so from that moment on. It was just like anyone, anyone who came on the show, even if they were guest starring, mm -hmm. we just, you know, accepted them yeah, because no, we were so tight. Awesome. So you don't, you don't that's do that awesome. to nobody, yeah. you know, it's really lucky. You, yeah. you, you do that. Uh, and it makes, the, it makes your day go better. It makes uh, the camaraderie of your community uh, better. And we, we all looked out for each other. Yes. So. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we and once we first saw you on the show, it it kind of killed all those rumors that the master was Sunny. Oh, all the rumors! Oh, oh yeah. my god! I think we still have posts, and we still get yeah. posts. Of, yeah. Yo, know, who's you know who's uh, Sunny's sister going to be, and all this? Kind I of think stuff. It's, it's this like, person. I can see. Meanwhile, 
meanwhile on IMDb, it's it had you on the page already, and you know, and it's like actually, everyone... I I always wondered why like they didn't just check on IMDb because oh, it sometime... was there. Yeah, we get that. I that know. We still say that too. Like you know, some some <laughs> of these questions were either when we were look, going through, you know, calling the questions and combining them to, you know, we can get all the information together. And it's like, why didn't you just check IMDb? Like, you know. No, but, but that's okay. It's cool that they don't, and they're like trying to think of because yeah. it would be really interesting if it was the master. And yeah. sometimes even after I shot it, I was like, hey, that'd be really cool, <laughs> you know. And yeah. Like, oh, what's, no. what, but, and before, so before we knew that you were cast. Um, mm -hmm. and, and, and the young actress that played you, you know, Kanan younger, younger, young Kanan, you know, yeah, I mean, I mean, but that's the whole point. That's what's, that's what's fun about the show. And we're still made, there's still theories and theories and theories. We had a theory oh, last yes, week I don't, that MK could be, you probably can't my, answer it. Right? right. Yeah. Right. So don't, if it's, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's, but it's, that's, what's so great is that they're seeing everybody as possible relatives or whatever, yeah. not even based on color or anything like that. Uh, they're just yeah. basing it on story and you know personalities and character right. and i love that i mean that's because that's what the world is <laughs> exactly which, which, which exactly. is so hard you know coming back to the states and getting back in the swing of things of, of regular hollywood again yeah. you know you talk about diversity you know and i i think we talked about that when we first talked before yeah. about uh, season two episode three when i stepped on that bridge you know it was like 48 hours after i got the phone call right and I stepped on that bridge and I saw every ethnicity. And I'm like, whoa, yeah. my mind yeah. was blown. And I think in between a couple of takes, I went behind this tree and I freaking actually literally cried. Yeah. It was beautiful to me. Yeah. It really got to me, you know? Yeah, that's, and again, that, you know, we'll say it again, but that that is one of one of the, the and it's it's a little heart wrenching because of what the show is and the fact that exactly. it's where it is now and it's like one of the one on television which is not for nothing it's like hollywood's one of the most toxic places you know what i'm oh, saying oh oh dude dude i went out <laughs> you know i'm going i'm going either over the wall or under it <laughs> yeah yeah right exactly you know but I, i'll let you finish that thought but one thing that i've never heard al say al told us in an interview we were all having this interview at wondercon yeah. And Al said that, you know, he made folks go out and scour, scour mm -hmm. Dublin and also the UK to bring that element in, to bring eth different ethnicities in mm -hmm. to the show. You know, as extras, who does that? No yeah. one does. Yeah. These guys, that's what this show is so special. That's yeah. the reason why the show is so special. Yeah, everyone says that. Every, every, every interview that we have with any member of of the sh of the cast yeah. or yeah you know it's, it's, it's universal which is which yeah. is it's universal in in more in more than just that one sense of the word it's and it's it's right. fantastic and 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 uh, you know I, I mean we keep we keep talking about about this but i'll keep saying it you know what i mean that's one of the reasons why it speaks to us yeah. you know what i mean yeah. it's just yeah. like you're not gonna it's so it's so I don't know. It's it's embracing. It just embraces. I feel like I'm a broken record. It's every time we're, we're such fanboys. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, and, and, and we get comments like, oh, you guys aren't that professional. We're like, shut up. Like, come yeah, on. You'll, you'll play on the freeway, pal. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're having a chat with our buds. Come yes. on. Exactly, you know I mean? man. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so mm -hmm. anyway, yeah. So, but anyway, yeah. So, yeah. So that, so that's all. That was our kumbaya moment, everyone, right? Yeah. <laughs> It, yes. You know, now, Junior, yes. thank you now, for being a part of that because, you know, I, now the focus is back on her. Time. All right. So <laughs> back on her. Let's get back on the show. Did you. So uh, a couple uh, like two part here. When did you come in and did you attend the fight the, camp yeah. with these guys? Oh, no. Or did you attend your I, own fight camp? Did you need fight camp? <laughs> My own fight camp. Yeah. I, <laughs> I literally <laughs> came in. Remember, there was like this big storm in Ireland mm -hmm. called the Beast from the East. I came in the day or two right before that. Oh, so you and brought so that in. I brought it in. Oh. I was the Beast from the East. And so right when I got in, I did like, I was introduced to wardrobe, makeup, hair, yeah. and fight camp people all in one day. And I got a couple training, um, a couple sessions, and then... And they're, they're constantly training anyways. Yeah. yeah and okay. so I just would go along with them. But I did get a week where I got to catch up on jet lag and also read everything and yeah. watch everything that happens before I arrive so that I know everything that's going on and um, be prepared to, like, yeah. literally jump in. 
it feels I feel really sad because I was so excited to get the role and I, I am sad that the show is over it's because really, I feel oh, like short lived with yeah. yeah. Yeah, but what a great experience I had. Like what an awesome awesome time. Yeah. And the end that's coming, I feel like everyone just I I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll get be very satisfied is, watching yeah, it. Yeah. I mean, it'll be sad, of course, but I know I'm getting, I'm getting a little a little choked up just thinking about it now <laughs> and it's like oh wait but I don't want it to end. So uh, so now with with your background your like your gymnastics background and your dance background how does that help like the conditioning that go, that goes through with all that in itself does that help you um kind of get oh. into the role you know easier I guess Yeah. I right. think um being a dancer and then I was a regular gymnast and then a rhythmic gymnast, a rhythmic yeah. gymnast is, you know, all the apparatus. And so that helps with any type of weapons you're going to use. Right. Yeah. So you're holding something and, um, just the flexibility and movement and just knowing mm -hmm. your body and how to, you know, how to use it to express something or to fight, do having all of that background helps for sure, you know, yeah. and just the training and perseverance and working through when you're hurt or when you're, tired or when you're anything it's just training which i i love training actually <laughs> I, that's it's so it's so awesome to to just get all that release yeah absolutely so. absolutely that's, that's and learning cool. something new you know we learned yeah. in the way we were taught i think you guys probably already know like oh, it's a yoga martial arts and mm -hmm. so everything is like helping your body strengthen it while like giving you uh, more flexibility but being powerful yet graceful. Mm -hmm. So exactly, that was my hand coming from Taekwondo. It, it's, it's it's different, you know. It's like, <laughs> yeah. all that stuff, and this is more graceful and it's more pres presentation into it, you know. Yeah. So it, that was that was my whole thing. It, it took a, a while for me to acclimate my body to that, you know, because I I was looking at Daniel because Daniel's tall, you know. So I'm like, okay, well then. You know, because I used to tell Andy all the time, I don't want to look like a fucking goof. Sorry, can I say fucking goof? Yes. Like, yeah. Ask Andy if you're. I'm like Andy. I don't want to look like a fucking goof. You know? <laughs> so. I was worried too. Yeah, we all, we all were worried. I mean, there's such pressure on doing this stuff because it is a great ballet, it is a great dance, and it is martial arts. But then you work with, you know, Andy and, and Master Didi and Stevie Stevie Fong. You know, you're working with these people who are, you know, brand name. You know, and in the business, you know. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Also, so that was a little pressure on me. But yeah. it was cool to have. You can see that we all have our own style. Yeah. Yeah. Of too, which is I think awesome that we we can all bring whoever we are into that character, and I liked that. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I feel like it's going to be really hard for me to. I laugh at myself because I walk like a gymnast no matter like what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I can see that when I'm watching. Played or watching yeah. the show now, yeah. you know it's hard to get rid of certain yeah. things. That's yeah. not a bad thing, though. <laughs> well, hopefully, you know, yeah. not. <laughs> we're we're our own worst critics. You know? Oh yeah, um, we, we, we're always digging into our head. And, hey, you see what you look but like. But you know yeah. what? But you know what? From this side of it, I could tell you, you know, what what's what's so imposing about a, a big bad guy or a deadly, you know, assassin when you see them come on screen? It's it's that presence, right? So it's the presence. For, so for Moon. You're you're a big strapping man in this dope outfit with a sword and a bowler hat, and before that it was the other outfit, right? And Kanan is in this is is in this kimono, blood red with the sword yeah. at his side, and and the way you you know what I'm saying. So so I think it's great that you're telling yeah. us like, oh, this is us. This isn't just me putting on a character. Yeah. So you're 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 exuding those things, and f yeah. from our end of it. It yeah. looks amazing. Yeah, because they, they do cast close to you. Right. Yeah. You know, you are the essence of that of that character. Yeah. You know. So I have a lot of moon in me. Yeah. You know. Chris is very uh, passionate. I can I can I can let moon loose at any time. What was that? Chris is very passionate about the costumes, this, especially this oh, yeah. season. I think he's going to um, ask Giovanni for oh, for please. some work or something. I, yeah. I just, just... Yeah, just can he just make me some? <laughs> yeah. All you should you should get the red the, the red uh, outfit that uh, that Lewis wore. Oh my red. God! I'm, I'm, well, listen, said he took. I'm what did in Lewis love. Say he, took? He, he said he took the the kimono vest, but dude, I am in love with that outfit, dude. And Sonny's <laughs> and Sonny's now. We yes. said like we said to you the other week. 
you know, the what's what Sonny's is now. Awesome. He's got the duster, yes. but over the dust, like when you guys were fighting, I was like, oh my God, it's so I good. Love that. I never Let cared before say, about that, you know? Uh, their clothes are so awesome. And also mm-hmm. my scenes, I think the ones that you've seen already, I'm sure you've heard how cold it was there. Yes. Yeah. So it would be raining and snow. That snow was real, by the way. I know. Yeah. Yeah. So it you, was you so did that beautiful. in a blizzard, right? Yes. Yeah. But that was so beautiful. Yeah, but my outfit was. is like, the least warm oh. <laughs> like out of all of them and they'd have like these coats and whatever and i'd be, be like action take off my big yeah. Yeah, yeah and i yeah. feel like i'd be so cold in my thin little outfit and they have these thick these guys have all these coats and yeah. all these layers yeah. and everything i, was I knew what was coming that. i knew what was coming. <laughs> I was like, a little upset yeah. <laughs> you gotta bundle me up now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so um it's funny right. Junior, because you you actually um had already begin began to start to answer the next question yeah. that we had for you, which was, well, first of all, your first fight scene uh, was just was fantastic. It was, Ooh. it was, you know, we 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 were all, you know, everyone oh, thank was like, you. I sent it. Well, <laughs> well, no, I mean, you you did you a lot did of that work too. Yeah, we we could see, you know, we saw what the, where the cuts were. We know, but still, it's it's it's. So yeah, it was it was amazing, and and Thank and we knew you. it was going to be right. We knew we knew who they cast. We're like, this is going to be good. And so talking about that fighting style, it's exactly what we wanted to know. Is well, you know, fans in the community and Mike and I as well. You know, so obviously your background influenced your fighting style. Is that right? So did they come up? They said, okay, Eugenia, we know you can do this, this, and this. We know you've done this. This is what we think you should do. Or is it something that you've already practiced? Like, what was that? Um, no, well, I think like so first they kind of looked at what I was able to do and how mm-hmm. flexible I was and my knowing my rhythmic background. And Andy, I'd known like sort of, we'd met before and right. stuff, but he didn't really, I hadn't worked with him. And then once they got me on set and had me try some things and see what I was capable capable of doing, um, they let me do as much as I was capable of yeah. and yeah. wanted to or yeah. whatnot. I mean, I wish I could, was capable of doing everything on that, I mean, but I'm not gonna lie, and I'm not, I'm yeah. gonna give due credit to my awesome stunt double yeah. teammate. They're amazing. And, yeah. Um, and yes, just all the I was really afraid to go to fight unit. Like I remember because I'm so used to actually, I actually feel like I'm more. I've always stayed away from doing a lot of martial arts movies or TV shows or whatnot. I've always done other things, but then I started to do more. But never had I experienced doing a martial arts movie where there was another a fight unit. Yeah. And to me, that was like the scariest <laughs> thing is to going going to fight unit the first day I was like I'm so scared and everyone kept saying it's so much more fun on fight unit it's so much I better know, there and I was like no it's impossible impossible I'm so scared to go there and it was the best time it's a good, it's a, it's a good time going there. it's a good time it's because a good everyone time. is so supportive you know everyone is like yeah. cheering each other on and they're just so support it's such a good team effort and everyone's happier and like lighter because you're not doing the heavy drama stuff right. you know what I mean well hold up now Hold up now, because there was always there was always this conversation about what do you like better, fight or drama, and you know I like them both. I like get, them both. Yeah, you know, I like them both. You know, they're both. You get to play in both places in both arenas. You get to play more. There's more a little bit more playing in fighting in it because you're fighting. Yes. Right. And you have more time to do stuff. Right. In the sense that they're like, oh, we have four days. So we're going to do all this stuff and whatever, but. Drama unit, drama, you got to like, come in and do your work. In, do, this, do your work. Do your work. I love both, but yeah. I think what I'm trying to say is I was dreading fight unit, and I ended up loving. And then Mikey, so, Mikey Ebley is the so best good. first AD okay. in the business. This totally. is the reason why Tom Cruise, when Mikey <laughs> is available, Mikey is first AD in Tom Cruise's movies. Wow, wow. All the time. Yeah. Nice. And he's just a yeah. riot. He's and funny. he's just funny. Got it together. That whole thing when he threw the pop pop powder in my face and ran. No, I don't right? Know. Oh, yeah. Was he yeah. The one that was involved in the farting. Uh, that was, no, that no, was Daniel? No. No, that was no, that was, that was another one. That was uh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> when he threw the pop pop powder in my face, you know, because he just wanted to make the day lighter lighter mm-hmm. and he just goes in action and he hit me in the face with it. And I went, motherfucker, and he just <laughs> took <laughs> Oh. Because you need that too, because fight unit is also very hard. Yeah. You know, you're, everyone's working hard, so there yeah. needs to be a balance of there's needs to be levity. Yeah. So Sherman, this episode, your fight scene, you, uh, you and Lewis, and, Lewis and yeah. 
damn. Just the garage. The garage I, I was scene. Like, the garage was, fight was, scene. Yeah. Did you, did you see any of that? Were you able to oh, see yeah. any of that stuff? Uh, not in person. I mean, I saw it on. Uh, listen, just man. the plan in itself. Well, sure. I mean, right? Moon was Moon was really to, like yeah. they were going at you, man. And like, yeah, man. And yeah, you, man. You were doing everything. Moon did everything he could to, to you uh, know. What and was breaking that the like? sword. I didn't tell you guys about breaking the sword, did no, I? No. I didn't tell you. And I was I upset. Kept that. I was really I know. upset. There's, yeah. I know. I know. Your sword breaks and your heart breaks in the same episode. Yeah. Really. I know. I know. I just my sword and my and my girl. Come on, man. Oh man. Come on. Tell, man. All right, let's do it. Listen, you brought it up. Tell, all right, come on, Lydia. What? T tell us. Tell us oh, that day. Lydia. Tell us about Lydia. What? How was it? Give us the whole thing. Then. Come on. That. Listen, that. Listen, if was you Andy. need to, if you need to cry, Eugene, do you have any tears? <laughs> any um, any uh, tissues? Yeah. <laughs> that was that was a real heavy day because, again, we're so tight, yeah. right? And in between takes, I looked at Orla and I said, I want to tell you something. This working with you has been a dream. And she said, stop it. Ugh. Stop it. Because she started w welling up. Yeah. She said, stop it. Stop it right there. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. And she she meant it. She meant it. Yeah. And I was like, really? I've never seen Orla go there. No. But she went there on me. Yeah. And she just said, no, we're not going there. And that's when we got into the meat of the scene. All I had to do was just be there. That's all I had to do because I was just, I was looking in her eyes and I'm thinking the whole time, damn, man, fuck, ah, Orla Brady. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been working with Orla Brady, man. I was just like, oh my God, so because awesome. she, she makes every day so easy. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just like, dude, just be in the moment and just, damn, this is really heartbreaking because I have no more scenes with her. Yeah. That's the only thing that was going through my head. I have no more scenes with her. Except for the scene that's coming up, I don't want to talk about that. Yeah, okay. Well, the fight, the fight with Lydia, Monday, Monday night scene. Yeah, the fight with Lydia and Cressida. Was, oh Jesus! That. Oh, first of all, I was like, <laughs> no, because she's gonna be barren. What are you doing? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it was. It, yeah, and then, but and then Cressida turning on her blood red gift. I was like, what the hell is yeah. happening right it's now? Like, oh, it's like, yeah. it's like we we've been getting a lot more answers to. Everything that we've been questioning about the gift but it now. Leads to now more is this questions. something else? Is yeah. this a separate entity that was, from that the was dark sick. That was... gift? So it's like, and she turned it on. Cressida turned it on. She turned it on. Yeah, yeah. She went. She went in a small <laughs> cell. You know. So it was. Yeah, it was great. We saw some fighting skills from from Lydia. And well, uh, you know, we've seen Lydia before, and it's funny. Yeah, because... but I'm thinking to that depth. Well, we like, see. No, we... we've seen her defend herself against like two or three people. When yeah, yeah she she oh, she knows yeah, how to that's fight. True. And, and, I don't know, maybe and the close quarters things. Yeah, well, that was the whole thing. That was a sick fight. Watching that close yeah. quarters with the clothing and like, yeah. Again, it's obvious. I mean, look, the, the show outdoes itself. Every fight is so unique yeah. and it's so special, and it's heart wrenching. And that was like, I can't <clears> believe <throat> that I just saw what what just happened. You know, yeah, which which a lot of those fights are throwbacks to the old Shaw brother movies yeah. and all that kind of stuff. You know, especially when she took her kimono and. Yep. Through it, you know, you don't know what's in there. It could be a weighted, you know, mm -hmm. something weighted at the end of yeah. it. You know, you never know. So it was that was a really cool fight. I love that fight. Yeah. That was wow. yeah. again, again, and then and then when then what happened? I was, was like, rough. I was I was I was laying in bed. My wife was like, she had fallen asleep, and I just jumped up, and she's like, what, what, what? <laughs> and I'm like, Lydia's dead. She's looking. She's like, ah, oh, shit. You know, like, you yeah. Know. And that's why when, like, that when sucks. having you on after watching that episode last night was was great. That's why we treat. were like, no, no, you're staying on. It, it was it, it was pretty hard to watch. I sat here on my couch and I was just like, it, it was pretty hard to watch. Yeah. I, I, I I almost went there. Yeah, and you, you know? know you could tell too in the scene. You could tell like you don't you, you, Moon doesn't speak. Yeah, you know he doesn't yeah. really you know, speak. Yeah, and I get. I didn't want to be like all boo hooish. You know, I wanted to save that. I wanted the audience to. See, okay, Moon is going to fucking go off. Yeah. And I thought he, I is. Thought he was going to jump like that little fence or something, go right after Cressida. Yeah. It's, it's almost yeah. like, you know did he is? know that it happened yet by yeah. seeing Cressida leave? Well, we, he... we, we, shot it, we shot a scene where I was trying to get through. Mm -hmm. And oh, I sure. almost get through, but they cut it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. No, I, it was, I think it played out the way they, the way they edited it. It played out perfectly. But in, in the moment, like that's, that's what happens. That's what happens. Yeah. You can go one of two ways. You can start bawling or you could just be like, what the hell is happening? Yeah. You know? And, yeah. and, you know, and I, 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 
like that for Moon. Yeah. yeah. You know, because I was thinking, you know, when you do have a loved one who's close to you die or something like that, sometimes you get mad and angry. So that was my motivation about, you know, yeah. not going all emotional, but getting more pissed off. You know, yeah. this is the second time mm -hmm. this shit has happened. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. You know, everybody needs to leave the planet. So, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, watch out. Well, from one fight to another, let's get back a little bit because I wanted to ask Eugenia about working with Nick Frost and, and that and the and the fight scene, obviously, <laughs> with Sonny and uh, uh, Nick is uh, Baji's sitting there <laughs> chained to this post. <laughs> <laughs> right. And there was a, a lot of comic. I mean, obviously, Baji brings the comic relief on this show, and he's so great at it. Um, in in yeah. the subtleties of how he delivers lines, we always talk that it's never forced. He does a great job. So, how was it working with with um, Nick Frost? <laughs> <laughs> really hard because it's so serious. Nick is Nick. Because he's kinda, too serious, yeah. right? <laughs> it's so yeah. You try to make him laugh once in a while. No, it's amazing. I mean, yeah. I'm honestly so funny. So. Nick can talk to you he, about the phone book, and it's funny. He's so smart, yeah. and that's what yeah. makes him so funny, because you have to be smart to be funny, I think. And, mm -hmm. like, his his wit and his timing of everything and the way he'll, he'll – those from episode one that I was in, or so that would be 13, I guess. 13, right, yeah. Like, when he comes and he's got Magnus chained up, and then I come later and I come – so we're in that corner first together – so he'd say something really funny to me before he'd come out and do his scene. <laughs> and then I'd be laughing in the corner quietly until it was my turn to come out. He would do that to me every take. Yeah. And that would just make, I would leave so happy, you know, yeah. because yeah. I he just makes everything funny and good. And it's always good to have somebody like that on set yeah. and who's just kind hearted and yeah. is eager to do like, like, there to do anything yeah. you know he he's not sitting on his ass like going no i'm not gonna i'm debugging it up like he he's yeah. immediately jump up show me what to do how i'm gonna learn all these things he fights he's have you seen his movie cuban fury no, no. actually oh my gosh so you know, i talked to him about this when i first got there and he made this movie he created it himself okay. and it's him and rashida jones and like He's doing salsa in a contest, and he totally took salsa dancing for, I forget how long, but so long so he could be a pro salsa dancer. Right. And he just, his moves are incredible, and it's hilarious. He can move. Too. He can move. He was a, yeah. he was a soccer player. It's such a good movie, Running too. player. He was a running player. Yeah, but yeah. He was working yeah and this movie is so good because it's dancing. So yeah. it shows you how, it. like, your body moves. Yeah. yeah, we got to find it now. Yeah. yeah even the scene on the so beach. Good. When you know, after you take Sonny and and Baji to you know where the boats were, and he was and he's talking to yeah. to Sonny about you know you have to listen to me kind of thing. It was it was like a serious scene, yes. but it was still like he he got satisfied when when Sonny says you know I'm sorry kind of sorry. Thing. It's like all right uh -huh. you know like I wasn't yes. expecting well you know Nick Frost yeah. is is a is a fantastic choice for that role like like yeah. you said right. <laughs> Alan Miles, like they picked the people for those roles yeah. because they knew, like, it, yeah. not, not diversity aside, the cast is perfect. Like it's just yeah. perfect. Like nobody yeah. can be in that. But it's yeah, they knocked it out the box. Yeah, and what's funny is that the the the, the character of Baji, besides the fact whether it's it's you know slightly based on you know Journey to the West and and other other influences that make up the show, th that character, even like the old Shaw movies, there's there's always. That one, there's always a character. There's always that comic yeah. relief. I don't want to. I don't like using it that much, but essentially that's what it is. There's always those characters in there to bring the levity, in a, in an yeah. otherwise serious situation. Yeah. And 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 again, so this this show, I mean, I grew up with those as well, and that's why this also speaks to me. Like everyone, you talk to anyone who was like, oh, what's this into the Badlands? Oh, even from the promos, the initial promos, everyone that saw it was like, yep, <laughs> I'm I'm watching that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, so we bring it, so we bring it back, and yeah, that uh, Eugenia. I mean, now we don't know what's coming. We haven't seen what's coming yet, but you know, I mean, I was thinking, I'm like, I, 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 I'm like, I bet you she's she's leading them out because you were like, I want to get out of here. I'm gonna get out of here, and then you wouldn't unlock uh, Sonny's gift, you know. And, I feel like you want to strangle me right now. No, 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 it's fine. <laughs> Listen, 
Kanan's got Kanan's got. You know, it's actually funny because Mike and I, on our last review, we were like, yeah. I don't think Sonny even wants the gift. We didn't think that he he wanted it even. After. And then he says, "All right, unlock the gift." And I was like, "Oh wait, whoa, yeah. wait, what? What? Oh, you do want yeah. it now? Okay." So yeah. anyway, so so needless to say, we you know it's Too it's much. so funny because you you guys know what, what's going on and you know we're sitting here going, "Oh, what's going on?" I know. Well, it's. I think it's going to be the, those two last episodes because you know that we shoot in blocks, right? Yeah, so yeah. Like two. So when I first came, I shot the first two that you just saw, yeah. and then the last two. I remember the makeup people getting it, um, the scripts first, yeah. and they're like, "You're gonna, you're gonna be, at, you're gonna be fight unit a lot. You're gonna yeah. be doing a lot." And I was like, yeah. "And." Yeah. So yeah, a lot happens. Let's just say well, from the, for everybody. From the teaser for next week, it looks like I know. Uh, I know. we're gonna be into oh, something. Yeah. And, um, then, yeah. and then you guys have a very special, a very special gift. The last episode, because this goes back to a previous show that you guys did, and we spoke about that. And I said yes. the last episode, you're gonna see something, and it's gonna blow your mind because mm -hmm. the concept. And we'll talk about this afterwards. You guys see okay. this. The concept was going to go very, very different mm -hmm. for the following season or the spinoff. Right. Okay. No, we like, no. listen, spinoff. We'll, hey, listen, it's, Badlands isn't over. We know that. We, oh, we, Badlands is not over. It's not Badlands over. isn't over. And, well, and Daniel talked about maybe a movie, a couple movies. Yeah. I, I think he said he would have liked Listen, it we to need have movies, comics, animation. <laughs> you guys got to all come back because you guys got to keep yeah. going. Um, exactly. I'm uh, going to change, uh, exactly. jump out a little bit. Um, Eugenia, was this the first time you ever filmed in Ireland? Some of the, some of the fans wanted to know if you've ever filmed yes. in Ireland before. Yeah. Okay. I've never, I've never been there and it was so, I loved it. It's yeah, such beautiful. a beautiful town yeah. I mean, where we were in Dublin, but I got to see so many beautiful locations. That's why I love about shooting, um, away from here. Yeah. yeah. You get to see yeah. so much more than you would if you were just touristing or anything, you know. And I get right. to see the inside of the places that I would have never gone to. That jail, the, the, the prison, jail, yeah. that it was so it was kind of creepy because we had a, it was a night shoot, so it was like I spent the night in jail, like yeah. all the, <laughs> night, the night in jail. And there was oh. Nick posted a shot of him; he'd fallen asleep during. Well, it was like he was. We were resting in cells, basically. Yeah. And so he fell asleep with his like shirt over his head, and it was just. It was scary and to be. It was so sun. cold. And and that was a notorious jail too. They it used is. To beat and... That's where like little kids were. From. It's yeah, just, yeah. It's was it? It was a vacant. It was a vacant location though. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's a tourist, touristy thing. Okay, now. okay. Yeah. Scary place. But it is. It, they it, there was some very bad atrocities that happened there. Yeah, yeah. 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 and like going to the Trinity Library and all of that. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it's. Yeah. Um, just, I loved Ireland, and people are so nice there. It was it was really great. Yeah, that's was, cool. That's I was cool. lucky enough to go to Dublin last what well, last year. I think it was last year. And yeah, I I went to a multiple. I went on a on a nice trip, and out of yeah. all the places I went, I loved Ireland. I think the most. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's right. I went you to the some Trinity. Pictures. Yeah, you I had, some yeah, yeah. I, I post and I had some video stuff because I went to Croatia too. Because we're also like Game of oh, Thrones okay. guys too. Yeah. Um, so I went on like the big. Game of Thrones stuff oh, there, true. which was was awesome. But but Ireland was 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 a beautiful place, and I agree. The people there were like, yes. super super nice. All right, yeah, yeah, I'm going to Ireland now. Yeah. I gotta go to Ireland. You got to, you have to. Italy can you wait. To. I'll go to Ireland. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so wait, Eugenia, speaking about the um the the jail and everything like that, I there's a question that I know everyone would love to hear from from you for you to answer is why didn't Cain and kill Magnus? Mm. Right. I think. <laughs> well, there's something coming up, right? Yeah, there's something coming up. You don't have to. I mean, yeah. In your opinion, yeah, like. In my opinion, I, I think that, you know, based on what he's done to her since she was yeah. a kid, and she's had so much emotional abuse and trauma, and she's in the Stockholm syndrome place. You know, it's she still has this weird connection, like she she does still feel a sense of like he saved her you know you can't you can't break that um, right. in a second i mean i think the connection that i have with my brother who i've always been looking for and always trying to save and take care of protect in my way even if that meant sacrificing myself is still number one priority for me but what he's done to me magnus um 
all of these years, it's hard to just turn off right. in a second. You know, there's still that that bit of not love for him, but this weird power that he has over me that maybe yeah. at that moment I didn't feel like I could just kill him yet. And right. and I wanted to it wasn't like I wanted to prove him wrong there that I wasn't I am a killer, but that that wasn't about <clears throat> that at that moment. It was I more think. of a break free moment. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Let me just say I, love, I, I, I love your line in the conviction when you said my job is to protect you when you were talking to Sonny. That was really cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really Sonny's cool. like, wait, I got a kid that's... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't care. I'm going to protect you, sucker. Well, he's probably dead already. Uh, yeah, don't, worry yeah, about that exactly. guy. No, no, don't worry about it. I have it on good authority. Like, All your friends are dead. My yeah. little yeah. nephew's dead? Uh, so what? Yeah. <laughs> I never met him. You know, I'm just, I'm dead just, to me. I don't know the guy. Where's the Christmas card? Yeah. You. Yeah. I'm just you didn't invite me you. to the bris. What are you doing? You know, you know auntie, I love you. Nothing. Yeah. You know what's cool, though? In that scene on the beach... Kanan stayed there. She, as, as you know, Baji and, and, and Daniel are talking, she stayed there in the whole thing. And he looks back and you know what I mean? And, and it's, just, and it was just like, what, well, what's going to happen now? You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and I was like, Kanan, go with your brother. You know? Like, <laughs> well, from the trailer, it seems like something like that. Uh, I know. I know. What's May, really May, cool sure. also in that you can't see it, but obviously they had to CGI it out. When we were shooting that scene where Daniel and I are talking and you see the beach, there was a little seal that oh, was really oh, and his head was oh. bobbing up and we were so excited to see it over the and he was we named charlie i think oh, he but he didn't get paid so he didn't want to be oh, oh yeah, like, yeah, 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 you don't pay you don't pay the seal we've all heard it, we all, we've all heard the stories of the seals in ireland we know they're yeah. famous yeah. <laughs> it was so awesome. they're difficult to work with yeah. they want too much the writers the writers in their contracts are yeah, like 10 yeah. pages long Exactly. That's yeah. right. Exactly. All right. Now, this is kind of a, a fun one. Besides playing uh, Kanan, uh, mm -hmm. who else? Uh, who's your your favorite uh, character on the show? Besides, obviously, besides Kanan yourself, who would yeah. you say would be your favorite? Or maybe who who you would like to play also? Oh. Oh. Um, that's <laughs> that's <laughs> um, pressure. Pressure. Right. I I think I love Tilda's character. Oh yeah, Sally's. she slices and dices. Yeah. And yeah, and I think I love it because I think she's just so awesome. And Tilda's amazing. And Allie's just she's amazing. So talented, I think. Um, she's amazing. Yeah, so talented. You know, I love I love acting when you don't need to say much and you can see it all in their face and it's their all eyes in her eyes. And their, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, her character, yeah. the character of yeah. Tilda, has as you know, everyone's have had a. A story and has progressed but you know this yes. is one of the is one of the coolest ones yeah coming yes. from and that know. mother relation mother daughter relationship yeah. i love yes yeah i love those types there was, of yeah there's a lot of great stuff from the episode even even uh, minerva holding henry and stuff like that we're getting such yeah. a different side especially from from minerva the widow all right that... can we talk about that Let, let's get your opinions um uh since we have you here so minerva's pregnant yes Who's the daddy? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You know? You know? But seriously, how many how many bombshells can you drop in one episode? You know what I mean? I know. I know. I know. More to come, brother. More to come. Uh, as many as we can. More to come. There's a conversation between bombshells. Moon and the Widow that's going to be kind of harsh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. I don't know. Um, yeah, so I just got thinking about the end again. It makes me so sad. I know, it does. I know. It's like you're counting yeah. down, um, and it's... It's not the end. It's not the end. It's, it's not, not the, the end. end. It's, it's it'll the end. be the end of this particular this saga. So, um, all right, so we're kind of winding down here. Uh, this will be a question for both of you, actually. Uh, no. Guys, what is your favorite martial arts movie? Because, Sherman, I don't think we asked you this previously. But what's your, what's your like, what's the your favorite one? Top of your head. I don't want to get the name wrong, but it was when, you know, I I have this little thing with myself when I get pissed off. I want to do, why did you kill teacher? Right? Mm -hmm. Remember when Bruce Lee was walking? What was what was the movie? Why did you kill teacher? Why 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 why? Right? And he was just walking through. Oh, what was that movie? Maybe that one. Uh, was that was that? Uh... I'm not sure. Hold on. You think it real hard? Yeah, but because I, I get them. Well, it would be that, and it would also be Enter the Dragon. Mm -hmm. 
Nubian or the Sorry, I'm thinking I'm looking at yeah. And there's just too many. There's just too many. There's 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 a couple of Jackie Chan films. Um, There's just too many for me to just go off the top of my head. But uh, I would say that. uh, You know what's great? Remember Am Bak? I, um, I that, great. that always stood out to me because that yeah. was that was such a different film and then totally, you know, totally different style of, you know it brought the whole um different style of martial arts to yeah. uh the forefront you know which i'm yeah. glad because now we get to see there's just a plethora of different styles and different forms and i love that you know so it's not a pigeonhole thing i really love that fact you yeah know? and crouching tiger hidden dragon which you yeah you, of course of course that, Sorry, I'm, I'm I'm I have so many thoughts He's in my head because so I, I, you know what it is. Which, which, which I, lo- I know, like House of Flying Daggers. I yeah. Oh, love. well, that's what I'm saying, oh, right? Yeah. But, you know, the Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon movies; those heavily, in, you know, influence this show. And and there's especially this season. There's been so much right. of that. I call it magical fighting because it's. Yeah. I don't I don't mean in the sense that oh it's whimsical and magical. I just mean that it just looks, you know, like the things that are happening. And the widow. The widow did some amazing stuff oh, with fighting the, Babu in the on the and, on the on yeah. the top of the, the the gate there. You know what yeah. I mean? And it's like you guys never it never you never cease to amaze as to what you can do. And it's very much like Jackie Chan films and other films, but I you know mainly Jackie Chan where the environment is part of the the fight and the and yeah. and, and, and a character in itself. And so yeah, you know I'm sorry. Well, we, I'm just, we, 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 we have to get. We have to give homage to, again, Andy Chang and, and Master Didi for that because, you know, they were involved with those films, you know, and, and way back in the day. And, you know, and they, and they worked with all those people. So I feel really honored because who would have thought that I would be in Dublin, Ireland, working with a group of people mm-hmm. and on a, on a very wonderful, gifted show? Who would have thought, you know? No, yeah, it's fantastic. It's so great. Eugenia, I don't think we got your, your movie? I, don't I would say probably one of my mom's like yeah. come with me. Mm-hmm. Um Lady Hermit. I mean the one with where she does the whips. She's amazing. My mom, you know, yeah. back then she, they didn't have the wire. Queen, right? She's the <laughs> yeah. queen. She's the queen. Yeah. She is. is she a fan of Into the Badlands? Yes, of course. Was she excited that you were on the show? <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Right. She's a fan of yeah, and she and Daniel have worked together. And, yeah, um, yeah, that's right. Stuff, so. That's so awesome. Yeah, she was very excited for me. That's so. cool. That's cool. And yeah. it's such a small world, isn't it? I mean, yeah. there's only like only four living rooms in the whole <laughs> world. I know there's only four living rooms in Hollywood, but there's like only four, you know, to end up with all these people, Yeah. you know, on one project. I mean, God, man. It's, I know. Really cool. You know? Yeah, I sent her. I remember, she's, in, um, she's in Taiwan right now. And I sent her the first image that I'd gotten of me, and um, she's like, "That looks like me as Golden Swallow." Yeah. And I was like, Aw. No. Oh. No. <laughs> yeah. So, so awesome. Yeah. That's great. Well, I'll that's tell great. you what. I think that that's a fun yes. place to end it. I mean, we obviously we could talk forever, um, uh, and, and and maybe we will after this. But the point <laughs> is, uh, Eugenia, thank you so much for being Thanks, on. Guys. You know, Absolutely. Sherman, as always. Yes, you've, you've been. I was just here for support. Doll, you know, um, but yeah, you guys again, so gracious to you know give us your time, and we and we definitely appreciate oh, we, it. We, we know you guys thank you guys. Good. Thank you seriously. And I tell you guys this all the time. Thank you. No problem. Seriously, we all thank you. Yeah. For real. Well, hey, it's uh, it, it, it's yes. Okay, then <laughs> we love you guys. It's you know we just, we just love you guys. Same. We just love you guys. Same. So, um, guys watching, or if you're listening, or whatever. You don't know Into the Badlands. You know Into the Badlands. What am I saying? You know Into the Badlands. The show is amazing. At this point in time, there are two episodes left. Uh, Eugenia Yuan, you are in so much, so many amazing th- shows and movies. Sherm, you, come on, man. You know what I mean? What's we don't? Can you talk about anything going on after the well, fact right now? You guys are there's, saying there, there's a couple of things that that are being tracked. Um, I'm still waiting for Latoya's movie. Latoya's movie, then I have another film uh, called Till Death, and then I'm still waiting on, there's two things, you know, Paco's over at, um, he's doing uh, Penny Dreffel, I'm a Penny Dreffel freak, Yeah. so that will happen, mm-hmm. I don't know when, but it's going to happen, Yeah. Uh, and then uh, hopefully, uh, I can say this now, I'm waiting on Halo. Are you kidding me? 
Well, you know Giovanni is on Halo. He's doing the costume design for Halo. No, I didn't know he was doing Halo. Wow. Damn, I let the cat out the bag. I gotta go. Oh <laughs> uh, my god. So, and you're gonna be in Halo? Well, well, they just got their Master Chief. And uh Karen Richards, one of our producers from uh from Badlands, she's yeah. a producer on it. So, you know, we we kinda talk. We we talk and um there's some stuff that's gonna go down, you know. So okay. we'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna play the, the sergeant. But, you know, oh, man. Uh, there's got to be something in there. And so uh, I just got an email from uh, my agent because we've been going back and forth with I've been going back and forth with the folks and uh, they're in Budapest. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, since we're friends and I've worked with them before, uh, I'm trying to do the professional thing and let the professionals handle it. So right, I won't yeah, yeah. grew up a, a friendship. So things look good. So cool, I'll man. keep you guys abreast of everything. Oh, man. And, We're going to have a lot hopefully. to talk about with you coming up soon. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Eugenia, how about you? What do you got going on? Where can we see you next? Um, I'm doing post on a movie that I co-directed and wrote and pr produced and stuff. Um, okay. So I'm doing that and starting to trying to get my own projects that I'm going to direct, hopefully, and produce and act in. Which she will so. do. Oh, man. Are they going to be Are they going to be in the States? Are they going to be overseas? Both. Both overseas and here. Okay, so, so we're gonna have you back, right? Here. So then we'll have yeah. you back to talk about those things. Okay. All right, cool, absolutely. You let us. You, when those are ready to go, I mean, mm -hmm. we won't bother you, but you just say, <laughs> guys, hey, guess what? It's ready to drop. Then we come on and we'll and we'll, and we'll promote it for you guys. Drop it. Thank yeah? you. Thank you again, guys, right. so much. Yes. We 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 love you guys. It's amazing. We cannot wait. Love you too, guys. Coming. Um. Oh, socials. Better for you guys to be the end. Oh, yeah. We, we are absolutely excited <laughs> and devastated <laughs> yeah, equally. Yes. Equal parts. Um, social media, where can people come and say hi to you? Just Instagram. I'm only on Instagram. Okay. <laughs> okay. And Sherm? Uh, <laughs> Which one you want to give out? Both? All? Uh, it's, 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 my address is uh, <laughs> yeah. 1313 yeah. Mockingbird Lane. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah, I heard, I heard they come moved out. Me. I heard they moved out. They moved to Hollywood, and now, yeah. They, yeah, now they moved out. They yeah. moved out. I moved in. Mm -hmm. But they kept the dog. I kept the dog. The oh, dog is really? the dog. Oh, okay. <laughs> they didn't want to take him. So. All right. So I think that's it, right? So yeah. check us out at thirdpersonpod.com on all the Google internet searches. You can check us out at third person on Instagram and on all the social medias, Facebook, third person everywhere you can see us. Everywhere. That's Very it. easy to find us. Right in the comment section below, let us know um, what you guys thought of the interview here with Eugenia and thank, thankfully Sherman here, here with us. Um, yeah, thank everybody that, that submitted questions also. Thank you very much. That is that Facebook group. It will be down in the, in the description, the link for that. If you're not part of it, go. It's it's bar none the best community. You can see why, guys. You can see Forever. why. All right? Forever. So there you go. Eugenia Yuan, Sherman Augustus. Once again, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. We love you guys. We'll see you soon. All right. Thank you.